everyone, Nick from Match Point Tennis. I'm here with my hitting partner, my slinger bag, and today I'm excited. We're gonna be talking about the volley. You can see my cones are set up with five here on the court, and I have two cones in the corner that are three feet from the baseline and three feet from the singles sideline, and you can see I have one cone, cone in the middle there that is five feet from the baseline in the middle, and I have two cones placed here in the service box right in the middle. Now today you're gonna see three or four different variations of how to hit the volley. Remember, you have to make the slinger bag your own. So let's check out the settings that I am going to use. On my speed, I have my speed at 10. I have my feed at 12, and I have my angle of elevation about five degrees, that right between the, the zero and the 10 on the elevation. If you want to challenge yourself more, I encourage you put encourage you to put the elevation at zero. It's gonna give you a little tougher volley. And if you wanna increase the speed, you can do that too, but you have to make the slinger bag your own. And you can see that my slinger bag here is set about two inches behind the service line set up to hit forehand volleys. So if you wanna hit backhand volleys, you just that appropriately. So let's go ahead and look at variation number one, just warming up the forehand and the backhand volley. Now you're gonna see me about eight to 10 feet from that, and you can try to move up to the middle, but I would recommend at the beginning here, you just get the feel for the slinger and the ball that's coming at you instead of trying to hit to the cones. So in general, I'm gonna be hitting some straight ahead and volleys just deep to get this timing. So the, the beep went off, and so I wanna really try to just get my timing here and really see if I like my settings. Remember, make the slinger bag your own. Okay, you can slow the speed down, you can add more angle. Okay, so I'm just here, you can feed, but I might be picking out targets, but as I'm getting more comfortable, maybe I'm just starting to hit just deep down the middle. I missed that one, that's okay. I'm trying to reach out to get that ball, just working on your timing here. So that's variation one. Having that slinger bag straight ahead, you can angle it. You need to make the slinger bag your own. When you're warming up here, I'd encourage you just to kind of get deep down the middle, maybe take some cross court. But let's go ahead and look at the backhand volley now. And this time I'm gonna be aiming straight ahead deep. And then you'll see in variation number three, I'm gonna be receiving a ball cross court and I'll be hitting cross court volley. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. So in variation number two, I'm in this case, I'm working with my backhand volley. You can see my bag is it position about the middle of the the service line and I've kept my same settings if you look 10 on the feed 12 on the speed 5 on the angle and it's given me a, a higher volley over the net which I like with a higher volley over the net you can change direction you can go down the line it's great so what I'm going to try to do is hit targets I'm going to try to aim for that middle cone which is again five feet in the inside the baseline and my cone three feet from the uh, side, single line and three feet from the baseline. When you're hitting volleys, whether it's singles or doubles, you need to make sure you have some targets. I can hit short here, uh, but I'm not going to, but you get the idea. Hit targets, practice hitting to targets with variation two. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I've already hit some forehands. You can see in the previous variation. I'm gonna take some time just to kind of feel this out. So I'm a little bit further back. Uh, to start on these first few, just kind of get that timing. So again, the first three or four, maybe I'm just working on timing and making sure I'm keeping the ball in front. We've got our second beep here, so I'm gonna be ready. And as I get more comfortable, I'll probably start to move in a little bit so I get my timing and kind of move forward. So I can take a step in here. I like that, so here we go. And I've got that feed where I want it, so in doubles, down the middle solves the riddle. So I've got to get to that cone a little more. There we go, a little deep. There we go, that's what I want, so control. You might, oh, I got it again. I got it in the last video too. Now I can go some down the middle. Whoops, I hit down. Make sure the racket's in front. And you can also change and go down the line if you want to. Oh, I got another cone. Okay. There is variation number two, hitting the targets. I was lucky and hit to a couple targets. You can see sometimes your form's off, you might be rushing, but again, 
make the slinger bag your own. It's going to take a little bit to get your timing down. As you get comfortable, you're going to probably move forward. If you want some instructional advice, you can look up above and I'll put a link into our forehand and backhand volley checkpoint videos. Let's stick around and check out variation number three of this drill. Variation number three of this drill has me just tilting my slinger bag, angling it towards the forehand court. That slinger bag is set up halfway uh, between my single sideline and the center service line on the deuce side. Uh, from variation number two, I just took that same slinger and I just turned it. I just angled this way. I hit a few here to make sure uh, it was coming this way. So variation number three is receiving a cross court ball and maybe going back cross court or down line. So instead of having that ball coming straight ahead and changing direction, now it's angled. It's above the net, so I'm going to try practice going cross court and deep on these. So let's go ahead and see what that drill looks like. Remember, make this to your own. You can increase the speed, you can decrease it, you can increase the feed rate, slow it down, increase the angle, decrease the angle, make the slinger bag your own. So let's go ahead and see. I'll move a little closer here. I'm about 12 feet away from the net in the middle, in the back third here of the box, just to see how this is going to feel, because I don't know. So that's a little low. I'm going to move in a step, kind of jamming myself so I can move over just a little bit so I can get that ball. So I'm working on hitting cross court. Okay, and I can also change the direction, but I got to get out in front of it. That's a little harder to do. Okay, and I can try to hit those targets. I can just do this where I'm just trying to hit over the net. But there you go. Variation, variation number three. Angle your slinger back to either the forehand or backhand side. Working hitting cross court, working hitting up the line. Let's go ahead and see variation number four where we add some movement in this. Variation number four is going to have me moving forward trying to close off this volley. I've kept my speed at 10. My feed rate is actually at 11 now and my angle is still at 5. Now this will take you a few minutes to try to, to set up where you need to start and finish and back up. So working on a forward and backward movement here. I'm going to try to keep my volleys going cross court right now cross court and deep. So we're going to move the camera here and show you what this drill looks like. Number two, I'm going to work in trying to get close. I'm going to back up and try to move forward and time this. It can be tricky to time. I thought I had it down. There it is. Close. Okay. Back up and hit your volley. Close. Because sometimes when we serve in volley, okay, that was a little deep. Okay. And we're looking at trying to just close. That's a tough volley. I dug up. It's a and we're working on backing up, coming forward, right? Trying to hit, and these are tough volleys too. I love it, right? Change direction maybe. Ooh. There you have it. Drill number, variation number four, I believe, or five. Coming in from the service line, hitting that volley, back pedaling up, hitting that volley. I'd love to see you keep moving forward, but for this drill, it's very quick. Working on our up and back movement. You can see my heart rate is up. There you have it, four new drills working on your volleys. I hope this gives you enough to practice for singles, hitting the targets, and also practicing for doubles. Remember, make the slinger bag your own. I've given you some settings there. I'll put them up here so you can see it one more time. Core positioning with the slinger bag. Remember, make the slinger bag your own. What works for me may not work for you, but you've got a template, you've got a baseline. Come out and experiment. This is a great product. If you have any questions or comments about any of these drills or you want to see other things, type them down below. Share this video with your friends. Post it on the Slinger Forum on Facebook so we can grow my channel and help you come up with many more drills for your slinger bag to make you the best tennis player you can be. This is Nick from Matchpoint Tennis. We'll see you next Saturday for another slinger drill.